Potential cheater. It isn't easy earning top grades, and Josephine is feeling the pressure now. It doesn't help that one of the girls keeps sitting close, glancing her way with her sweet, innocent eyes. Is she trying to be friendly, or just copy off Josephine? What to do? Well, in that case, I would personally confront the girl to see what's going on. That way, there won't be any miscommunications. Even if the girl is trying to copy, she'll never admit it. When Josephine accuses her of cheating, those sweet, innocent eyes fill with tears, and now everyone thinks Josephine is mean. Rats. Oh, get over yourself! Really? Just because I was trying to figure out what's going on automatically, I'm being labeled as the villain? I can't stand people sometimes. <laughs> Hey, Josephine, look at her. She's all confident and everything. And I gotta say, I appreciate you watching this Chuck week's Donaldson? The Sims 4. <laughs> Thank you for the love and support here. This is Love of Ladies. And at this point, I'm going to try and finish the remaining two objectives. That way, once they're completed, I'll be able to have a nice little birthday party become a teenager, and that would be oh. the end of the best friends forever scenario for me. <laughs> I decided to call really Summer to come hang out with me at my know, house, man. since I'm away. trying to become best friends for her. Seems like Liberty is not available for me to hang out, so I guess Summer would do <laughs> for now. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Josephine is actually still sad about being accused of being a cheater, but after eating some animal crackers, she seems pretty happy, which is something that I would actually do. Sometimes I eat food and it definitely makes me happy, so I definitely feel you. But it's not good to be by yourself for too long, Josephine, so let's go. And after you use the bathroom, let's keep on chatting with Summer. Arona. Liberty Lee would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? Hell yeah! <laughs> the more, the merrier. And since she's coming, I'll probably try and make her my good friend first before going to summer. Josephine has learned the following preferences about summer. Dislikes the color green. That is so ironic because we have this little thing on top of her head and it's green, and yet she hates the color green. So. Is that some sort of sin irony? Or... I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. 9.19 p.m. already? <gasps> Wait a minute. Become good friends with four sin? Are we... <gasps> oh my god! I'm finally good friends with... with, uh, Liberty! Oh my god! Wait, why is there a random girl at my door? Who is that? Is that... Is that Olivia? Girl, why are you here? You got school tomorrow. My goodness. Anyways, let me see if the monster will come out of bed. Finally, the monster came out. There you go. This is interesting. I just love how there is a monster under the bed. Let me see. Hello, my friend. Josephine is super excited to hear from her friend, the monster under the bed. We should actually give it a different name besides monster under the bed. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. I love how Liberty for the past hour... No, the past two and a half hours, she's been doing nothing but watching our TV 
running around, reading books, leaving them on the floor, like, really? Anyways, time for bed. She you have school tomorrow. Look at her. Her- this bear is like her best friend at this point. Girl, if you don't go to bed right now... Go to sleep. You got school tomorrow. Chase can definitely take care of the dishes. But you, Josephine, need to sleep for school tomorrow, so... Olivia? Kim Lewis would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? Okay. I mean, right after school. All right. And you know what? It's a good thing she's here because Josephine is still sad. I don't know if it's specifically because of the little thing that happened a couple of days ago, but it looks like she definitely needs a hug. And let me see what happened after that. There is no better feeling than starting the weekend as a straight A student. Josephine should feel proud. Aw, oh, bendito Josephine. Dude, why are you so sad? What happened, baby? Get basso. Oh my god. Damn. Everything's gonna be okay, Josephine. Don't let those kids bully you. Fuck them kids. They're just stupid. There you go. Talk to the bear. In fact, after you talk, give that bear a big ol' hug. You should feel better. There you go. See? Aww. When Josephine feels close to someone, it's safe to show off her silly side. Time to bring back this inside jokes and funny stories from the past. Nice. Well, while Olivia's here, let's go and invite Summer. That way we can definitely have her become our good friend. And plus it's the weekend! Let's party! Shashere! <laughs> Summer just became good friends with Josephine. Oh Grandma. my god. Yes. I finally have four good friends. Chase, <laughs> Olivia, Liberty, and now Summer. Josephine can now donate to online charity. Practice pickup lines, add a mirror, and can flatter other sins. She's a kid. Why would she concern herself uh -huh. with pickup lines? Anyways, at this point, tonight, I'm going to talk to the monster one more time. And then, last thing would be birthday party. The monster did not come out tonight, which is pretty sad. So hopefully, the next night, I should see the little guy crawling out of its bed with its little tentacles. Reach creativity level 2, Josephine can now draw an image at the activity table. Well, at this point, I don't think she's gonna want to draw since she's just reading, so... Summer Holiday would like to come over to hang out, is that okay? Alright, sure. I mean, today is like a lazy Saturday for Josephine. She's been doing nothing but eating, watching TV, reading. So it would be good to have someone come over to hang out for a bit. Especially since Josephine is just talking to the bear for most of its day, too. What the hell's going on? Is she glitched out? Oh, she's glitched out. She managed to walk <laughs> through the door and the wall. Aww, that's cute. I just love how these people are just so affectionate and loving towards Josephine. At least she knows that she's not alone. Reached Mischief Level 2. Chase control B forms on a computer and tablet. Oh my god, don't tell me you're like a Reddit guy. 
Subi Wib. <laughs> um, um, why is Summer yeah, flirting Summer with Fipper. Josephine? When you? <laughs> why is she? Hey, yo. Sarpava <laughs> Yonis. Why is Summer flirting with Josephine? Yes, That's kind of weird. Sharuna in a prep. Where's, but, where's Chris Hansen? Uh -huh. Chris Hansen needs to be called in right now. What the hell's going on? Did Wait a minute. Did Josephine actually practice her pickup line? Because she's using it on Summer? What the fuck? No. Axe is denied. Summer, your bitch ass is about to be thrown out. You better, you better fucking stop. Gabla Yamuto. Uh -huh. Grano Sparif. Okay, Ooh. that's it. Uh -huh. Go to bed. Manu go to bed right now, Atoy. Josephine. So I don't mean. Let's go. Go to bed. Kim Panipa Spoy. Josephine, Fidea. you shouldn't be flirting with older women. What's wrong with you? You're a fucking kid. Let's go. Cut it out. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Yes, Summer, please leave. Leave and think about why you thought it was okay to flirt with Josephine. Like, that's like the weirdest thing ever. Chase, this is the third shit that you broke today. No, within the last couple days. And you have the audacity to stand there on your fucking phone. And you're mopping. You're mopping knowing that unless you fix the sink, the water's still gonna be on the floor. And you're walking away. Oh my god, fucking useless. Let me... Chase. I, I mean, whatever. This is crazy. This is crazy. This bitch is breaking everything. Someone's at the door. Who is that? She looks cute. Let me see. I'll say funny introduction. I want to get to know her. See what's up. Shunaskimba. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There you go. Who's that? <laughs> Nina? Alright, I'll get to know her. Josephine has learned the following traits about Nina. Lazy. Okay, but what type of lazy are we talking about? Are we talking about, like, career? Goal? Lazy? Where she would just do the bare minimum? Are we talking about lazy as in slob? Not wanting to be hygienic? Like, what type of lazy? Are you specifically? It makes a difference. It really does. Summer holiday. Summer holiday would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? As long as you're not flirting with the kid, fine. Lord have mercy. I like how Josephine just walks away mid-conversation and leaves Nina on the porch. Oh, look at Summer. Look at Summer running, running. Running to the house, and she's like, Who's this girl? Goodbye. Huh. Damn, she's just. Ooh, the rig. <laughs> what is. Chat with Summer. She's like, Hey, girl, hey. What's good? I just like how Nina is still standing there in their way. It's funny. She has no concept of personal space. <laughs> I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Nina, I didn't even ask to hang out. You just showed up at my house unannounced. Look at the way she walks, too. Really. That's funny as hell to me. Josephine has learned the following preferences about Summer. Dislikes kids to radio music. I mean, she's an adult. Of course she's not gonna like kids music. And speaking of kids music, I mean... I wonder if the Sims have their own version of kids bop. I bet they do. I wanna, I wanna hear what it sounds like. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. Oh my god, she told Summer that? That's so cute. It's like Summer and Josephine are getting close. It's, it's cute. But no flirting. You hear me? Because that shit was weird. Okay, first of all, why is she so tense up? Let me see, let me see. Cheering can often be contagious. 
but sometimes it can also be painfully grating. Bro, I feel you. Oh my god, did she broke something? This bitch stay breaking stuff! How are you washing your hands knowing that the toilet's leaking? <laughs> Yo, this- I swear to god, she's just a dumbass, bro. Like, really? Wait a minute. What's going on? She was just talking about sex with Chase. I'm done. Yo, I think Summer's horny, bro. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. So Jace mm. just made some spaghetti, and yet there's food and other shit on the table. Like, I'm gonna have him clean. Clean up everything. Like, I feel like Chase doesn't really do anything besides breaking shit anyways, so. You see, this is what I'm talking about. He stay breaking shit. Like, I can't stand this guy. And he has the audacity to be asleep. Go mop the fucking floor, Chase. I can't stand this guy. So, all these things are constantly being damaged. So, at this point... At this point, as soon as Josephine goes to school... I'm thinking about remodeling this whole place. Because this is just too much for me. Having to constantly replace shit, like... This is like the 10th appliance this week that I had to fucking replace. Should Josephine invite over a classmate Olivia? Yes, she should. Why not? That way, she can spend time with Olivia and have fun. Josephine can't stand this. When will this tournament end? Sims who are doing something they dislike are susceptible to fun reduction. What? Josephine doesn't like mischief? I thought she did. What? What is going on? This is crazy. Liberty Lee would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. I mean... As long as you leave before bedtime, because it is a school night after all, so... Oh. Olivia's very sad. Why? Deeply connected. Bendito, let me check to see what's going on with Olivia. I feel bad. <gasps> Death? Someone died? Oh my god, one of her family members died? Oh my god, honey, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bendito. One of her family members must have died. That's why Olivia's sad. There you go. Comfort. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. Oh my god. I love this bond right here. This this bond is like the end of times type of settlement. I should really get going now. Thanks for... Whoa. Whoa, what's this? Flirty? How is she flirty? What the hell's going on? Chase's new skill in gourmet <laughs> cooking will allow him to make meals of a classier variety. The higher the skill level, the more recipes are unlocked. I like how Chase is basically cooking for himself, but has the audacity to leave this girl eating crackers and ham cheese sandwiches. Like, fuck you too. <laughs> Finally, the monster came out. I've been waiting for this guy to show up for quite some time now, so... Get your ass up, Josephine. Talk to this monster so I can, like, reach my goal. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. Yeah, bye. Why is she scared? She's been talking to this guy for how many weeks now? And I'm happy, too, because... 
What is she saying? Spray? No, don't spray the monster. Dude, just talk to the guy. Josephine was unsuccessful in her attempt to communicate with the monster under her bed. Looks like it doesn't want to be friends for now. Nah, buddy, come on. I am not your enemy. I'm energized from it, that's for sure. Let me... Let me talk to it still. Uh... Let's sweat. What a rush. This boost of adrenaline is making Josephine feel amazing. Should she firmly embrace with her astonishing sculpted arms that she likes fitness? Okay. First of all, talk to the monster. Stop eating, bro. Talk to the thing. The thing's here for a reason and wants to sit with you, right? No? Your dad's gonna eat that whole big-ass plate of spaghetti. Melba! Zavara! Wiggle! Pogi Alboa! <laughs> Nothing? Alright. Uh, tell secret. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to this thing right here. Play with monster? Yes, I'm gonna play with the monster. This is so exciting. This guy is definitely here to stay for a hot minute, so... I'm gonna take advantage as much as possible. <gasps> she has a little doll? Oh my god, this is so funny. I wonder what what its name is. I see here that this monster monster definitely has some sort of tentacles. Maybe an octopus, I'm assuming. I hope so. Because if it's something more sinister than that, then I don't even want to mess with it. <laughs> Birthday party is about to begin. Are you ready? Let's Alright, so all I gotta do... <laughs> Tell jokes, so... Alright, I'm gonna tell a couple of chicken butt jokes to Olivia. Slufa Pinto. Wave it. Tobin! Daisy. Jessawes. I can't believe on my birthday party I still have to do more goals. What the hell? Kamiva. Boim. Vazira. Blip. Joy Tobin. Wait a minute, if I become a teen, what about Olivia? Is she gonna become a teen? Alright, so now I have to eat food. Oh, that's an easy goal. Where's the food? Hold on. Where is this food? Dead ass? There's no food here? Okay, so I'm having Chase grilled some pinchos so at least Josephine can eat. I've already set up the table here. This is where the birthday cake's gonna be. Question is, how am I supposed to get a cake? That's a thing. Okay, Josephine is now eating. Wait, she has to eat food four times? This is so complicated. Eat, honey, eat. Go, man. That way you can, like, stuff your face. Look at Summer with her. Okay. Her and Summer eating together. She looks really nice for her birthday. That's pretty cool. So, apparently in The Sims 4, you can't really just buy a cake. You actually gotta make it. And then bring it to the birthday event, which is stupid. Whatever. But fuck it. If I'm gonna have to make it right out in the open, then... I guess I'll definitely make it right out in the open. I just want to make sure that Josephine actually has, like, a good birthday. You know what I mean? The fact that I had to buy all of this, man. Like, what the fuck? Why are you standing like that, Chase? Stop slouching. Alright, so, fuck it. I'm not gonna do any of these, um... 
things here, but I'm gonna blo I'm gonna definitely make a wish. I'm gonna blow out the candles and then I'm gonna celebrate because I deserve it. I worked so hard, and damn, I can't believe it. Like, wait, what happened with her? Does she need to go to the bathroom? Hold on. You need to go to the bathroom? Let me pause this for a second. Oh, shit. She needs to go to the bathroom. Hold on. Of course she needs to go to the bathroom. How about this? Before you do anything, just go to the bathroom first, okay? Oh! Oh, okay. Never mind. Teen... Oh! Best friends forever. You've completed the scenario. Com complete all goals as a child sim. Okay. So, let me see. Teenage dumb. Romantic travels, sweaty gym shorts, and hormonal upheavals await. Best buckle those boots, the ride starts here. Let me see, what aspiration should Josephine be? Um, I'll say... I'll say love. Boom, soulmate. Pick a trait. Um, she's definitely a goofball. So, all right. I really value the time we spend together. I think it's made us closer than ever. Oh my God. So this is Josephine? I mean, I'm not really digging the hair, but whatever, I guess. Well, there you have it. That's my birthday party. And I am definitely done with this scenario. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.